السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا أما بعد Today we'll be discussing inshallah the 26th juz of the Holy Quran Allahu Akbar how time flies to grab a new book Subhanallah I'm still a bit behind in recitation make dua for all of us Okay, so the winner for yesterday's trivia is our sister Hajar Fuad. MashaAllah, mabruk to you and Coach Shusha. May Allah bless you all. Jazakumullah khairan. Allahu Akbar. 26th Juz, Surah Al Ahqaf. Once again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reinforces the beauty of the book. Tanzilul Kitabi, Min Allah al Aziz al Hakim. This is a revelation uh, of the book from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the realities of false deities. Who are you calling? قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ مَا تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَرُونِي مَاذَا خَلَقُوا مِنَ الْأَرْضِ أَمْ لَهُمْ شِرْكٌ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ إِيتُونِي بِكِتَابٍ مِّنْ قَبْلِ هَذَا أَوْ أَثَارَةٍ مِّنْ عِلْمٍ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Bring some substance for worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What have these false deities created? Look at your own creation. وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ Look at yourself, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you. Don't you see? Focus upon the reality of who the actual creator is. Not these idols that you're making with your own hands. Not these cars because of which you're missing salah. Not these homes which distract you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, the Almighty is your creator. All these blessings that you have such as the home, your spouse, your the food that you eat, your homes. This is all a, a grace and mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Towards the end of Surah Al-Ahqaf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions when uh, the jinns, they heard the message from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They said, يَا قَوْمَنَا إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا كِتَابًا أُنزِلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مُوسَى مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ وَإِلَى طَرِيقٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ They said to their nation that, O nation, we have heard of another book which was revealed after Musa alayhi salatu wassalam's revelation, the revelation Allah gave to Musa alayhi salatu wassalam. What does this book do? The Qur'an, Yahdi ila al-haq. It guides you to the truth. If you're seeking guidance in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will guide you to the truth. Wa ila tariqim mustaqim, and on a very balanced, straight path. And then they also, you know, the jinn kind, after hearing the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they also understood that, وَمَن لَا يُجِبْ دَاعِيَ اللَّهِ فَلَيْسَ بِمُعْجِزٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَيْسَ لَهُ مِن دُونِهِ أَوْلِيَاءِ Those who do not listen or take heed to the message of this da'i from Allah, the inviter Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they at no level will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weak. Allah <coughs> will still remain the most independent. Rather, this da'wah is to benefit you, right? It's not for you to show your uh, ihsan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Wow, Ya Allah, you know what? I'm doing something, I'm doing you a favor by accepting this da'wah. No, the favor is for you for accepting this da'wah. The benefit is for you. Thereafter, Allah concludes with Surah Al-Ahqaf and goes on to mentioning uh, Surah Muhammad, dedicated to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wherein Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentions the accolades of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and those who believe with him. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَآمَنُوا بِمَا نُزِّلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدِ وَهُوَ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ Look at why Allah praised the believers. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ They first and foremost brought faith and they commenced with doing righteous deeds, right? And for the mere fact that they believed in what was revealed upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the Qur'an, and they understood this to be the truth from this Lord. And because of this, كَفَّرَ عَنْهُمْ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ وَأَصْلَحَ بَالَهُمْ Because of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave their sins, 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectified their hearts. Allahu Akbar. <clears throat> Allah thereafter, uh, you know, after mentioning the difference between those who believe and disbelieve, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a bold statement to the believers. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, in tansuru Allah yansurkum, wa yuthabbit aqdamakum. O you who believe, if you help Allah, Allah will help you. How can you help Allah? By helping and assisting every good endeavor that takes you back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taking care of your masjid, taking care of righteous people, keeping good company, uh, helping the poor, uh, quenching the thirst of those who don't have water to drink, feeding those who are hungry. All these are paths to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in turn, you have done the deen a great favor by dedicating yourself, uh, yourselves to these good deeds. Hence, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not only help you, but keep you firm in the good work that you're doing. Despite the criticism out there, even if you're being criticized by, by every single person around the world because you're mentioning something that they are not accustomed to hearing, Allah will still keep you firm so long as you're relating back to the Quran, the Sunnah, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. <clears throat> okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how Allah is pleased with the believers. لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ The Sahaba رضي الله عنهم Hence it is very very uh, heart-wrenching to criticize any one of them. Right? لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ يُبَايِعُونَكَ تَحْتَ الشَّجَرَةِ When the bay'ah, when the pledge of Hudaybiyah took place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was pleased with you know, all these Sahaba رضي الله عنهم including Uthman who, was, who went as a mouthpiece from the Prophet وسلم, to inquire what was happening in Mecca, but you know, no time to mention uh, the details. Thereafter, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you know, says in Surah Al-Fatih, "لَقَدْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ الرُّؤْيَا بِالْحَقِّ لَتَدْخُلُنَّ الْمَسْجِدَ الْحَرَامَ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has confirmed the 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 dream that the Prophet وسلم, saw about them them entering the holy city of Mecca as a true dream. You will enter. But subhanAllah, what happened? The Prophet ﷺ was rejected that year from entering Mecca and he had to go back all the way to Medina. And there were a lot of grievances from the Sahaba anhum. When we read the narration, we realize how sad and emotional things became. But despite this, the, the dream of the Prophet ﷺ was true. Where they came back and uh, entered Mecca in you know, uh, the following days to come. Allahu Akbar. This tells you don't hasten when it comes to your du'as being answered. Or when it comes to uh, you dedicating to certain good deeds, don't expect results right away. Results will come, inshallah. If you don't see the results, you will at least see the rewards. Subhanallah, sometimes it, all it takes is the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to gain a sense of comfort. For us to gain a sense of uh, contentment. It doesn't take physical results. Physical results don't guarantee uh, contentment. If that was the case, individuals who are millionaires and billionaires would have not committed suicide. Contentment is the biggest reward. So continue on doing the good that you're doing. A day will come where you'll see the promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coming to you. The promises of goodness, grace, compassion, Affluence may it be at a religious level or at a worldly level. Okay. Thereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commences with Surah Al Hujurat, but we've run out of time. In this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a broad statement, statement to the believers that don't raise your voice in front of uh, the, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's voice. Right? Don't exceed the limits when it comes to. Um, don't exceed the limits past Allah and His messengers Meaning, know your boundaries At times, um, we may utter things about the deen Or about the messenger وسلم, in emotion Which are not really likened to be mentioned With regards to Allah and His messenger وسلم, So understand your limits right? And another beautiful lesson that is taught is when somebody approaches you with any news, rather than being BBC News, Al Jazeera, 
uh, Fox News or CNN and spreading that news that you heard to all corners of the earth via social media or via the phone. Hey, did you hear what Fatima did? Hey, did you hear what Madhar said? Inquire. Find, about, find out uh, about the reality of the matter. Right? Don't just be mass broadcasting news that you have not rechecked and rechecked again and again and rechecked for one final time. Rather, understand, understand the accountability of what words come with. Right? When you spread a bad message about your brother or your sister or your family member and it is not true, the burden of that statement is upon nobody's head but yours. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us uh, the importance of accountability. Jazakumullah khayran. Okay. Um, mention one of the dialogues that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala men- says in Surah Qaf. Right? Mentions, mention a dialogue between two groups that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Qaf. Right? <clears throat> what is the final story that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions? Towards the end of Surah, uh, sorry, towards the end of the twenty-sixth juz, and what is the reaction of the host in that story? Okay, that's question number two. How does Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give us the formula? What formula does Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give us to to understand the importance of unity in between us? What formula does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us in the 26th juz to, uh, to I don't want to say the word because you'll get the answer, hmm. to better the unity in between us as believers. Okay. How, what, okay, no, no, no. Stop laughing. Okay, that's it then. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.